What's up, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Now we're moving on to Moon in Pisces. So Pisces is a very intuitive water sign that is ruled by Neptune. Um, if you don't know, Neptune governs creativity, dreams, and like all things ethereal basically. That's why if you do know any Pisces, you'll notice they love to like explore their imagination. They much rather escape from reality. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the minds of a Pisces moon. Our moon signs are basically our emotions, our feelings, and our desires. So I did look up a few celebrities that have their moon in Pisces. I already knew some of these people had their moon in Pisces because I'm a Pisces moon myself. So when I see that another person has their moon in Pisces, I'm like interested. Okay, so celebrities with their moon in Pisces are Janae Aiko, SZA, Michael Jackson, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and Kehlani. Obviously I didn't get that many celebrities on here but these are a handful of people that I felt it'll be cool to like you know tell y'all they have their moon in Pisces. I don't know. If you didn't know now you know. So like I said I'm a Pisces moon so I definitely understand all things Pisces okay. It's literally my moon placement. It's what I feel. I live with it every day. So let's get right into it. To me and you can argue and debate with me on this, but Pisces is the most intuitive zodiac sign there is. I'm not saying that they are the only intuitive zodiac sign, but I do believe that Pisces people are some of the most intuitive people. They know what's going on around them. When it comes to energy, they could feel that. That also goes for, of course, Scorpios, Cancers. Um, every sign has that intuition but some are deeper than others. Water signs have that strong psychic intuitive ability. Pisces, if you want to take it even further, Pisces, since they are the last zodiac sign, they carry on everyone else's weight, everyone else's feelings, emotions, energy, they carry all that in. So of course they're going to be the most intuitive and everything like that. Now, just because they are intuitive does not mean they always listen to their intuition and will follow their right mind. That doesn't mean that. That just means that they are intuitive, they do pick it up, but doesn't mean they're gonna take that and run with it. Pisces moons have psychic abilities. Um, they can know what's gonna happen. They can read what's gonna happen. They can sense it. They have that strong psychic ability. Remember, these are the dreamers. So it's easy for this placement, moon in Pisces, to confuse reality with their imagination or like a fantasy. Um, it's easy for them to get lost in that dreamy world. I know for me, I am like that and I, I'm okay to admit that, it's fine. But I also know when to tap in because my Taurus son gets me in check every time. Like, okay, come bring it back, bring it back to earth, girl. Bring it back down. So if you have like a balance, it could be okay. But yeah, I think it's fun to drift off into another world and not worry about this world. But hey, I digress. Having your moon in Pisces can also get extremely depressing. It's not all fantasy and fun and imagination and art and creativity. It can get very sad and very lonely, especially when someone hurts this placement. If they feel hurt or slighted in any way, this could be really bad for their mental health. Pisces moons are super sensitive sometimes they rather most times let me say most times they rather be alone than around a bunch of people or around a crowd of people it just makes them feel better when they are by themselves they're okay with not letting a lot of people know what's wrong with them um, they will sulk in their misery in their own company they don't want to make anyone else feel sad so they rather just keep it to themselves most times if you notice like your pisces friend is like really to themselves that's why i know i mentioned that pisces moons are um very in tune with the energy around them 
So they basically can absorb other people's emotions and that is not a good thing. It gets draining. That's why it is important for them to like disconnect from the people around them. So from time to time, they shouldn't be with people all the time. It's very important for them to recharge and get their energy back, call their power back. People born with moon and Pisces have the most sensitive and compassionate emotional natures. To me, this energy naturally harmonizes with, with the nature of the moon. So does Cancer. Pisces moons are like very empathetic to the people around them or just people in general. Like if they're watching a movie, they could easily, if it's like sad, someone dies in the movie or just something happens, um, they will absorb that energy and they may cry with the movie, the, the character in the movie. Whatever's happening, it, they will feel that so intensely like they're going through it or like they're right there. Um, it's crazy. These people are amazing caretakers. They like to be of service to people. Their opposite sign is Virgo. So of course Virgos, they take that crown when it comes to serving and being of service and just doing for people. But since Pisces is that opposite sign, they also carry that trait. But people can take advantage of that, of course. So it's very important for Pisces to just protect your energy. Like if you're a moon in Pisces, please protect your energy all around. Also, if you notice like your Pisces moon person is wanting alone time a lot, don't take it personal. They just need to recharge, you know? It's hard for them. It could become super draining being around people. So it's not like, a, why don't you want to hang out with me? I wouldn't take that to heart because they still do care for their family, their friends, their people. They love their people. So yeah. Now, just because they're sensitive to energy and everything like that and empathetic, don't get it twisted. They are feisty. They will get slick at the mouth if you don't do right by them or if they feel like you're just bothering them provoking them but if you think you're going to take advantage of them mm, they probably already caught on to what you're doing <laughs> and but like I said they live in their fantasy world so mm, they're not really going to come into reality until they're ready to once those rose colored glasses come off then you will notice that they have been picking up all the things you've been saying about them because they decided to finally say something about it. So don't think you're getting away with it because they're not dumb. This is a mutable water, by the way. So they are not like a standstill moon sign. You really don't know what to expect all of the time with them. But if they do notice you're trying to like play them, they'll get tired of it and tell you about yourself for sure. <laughs> People with this moon placement in Pisces, they are very creative. They tend to be really creative. They take their craft seriously. Michael Jackson, Janae Aiko, very creative. SZA, they, they like to express themselves in like art. They pour their deep emotions into what they do, like dancing, music, painting, writing, and just overall creating. They're also very in tune with their spiritual side and can be deep into their spiritual practice. Now let's get into love. Now when it comes to relationships, Pisces Moon people do look for someone that they can connect with on a deep, deep, deep emotional level. They are attracted to partners that are creative, spiritual, empathetic, Sometimes people who are damaged, they're attracted to that. They want to be able to fix them. But overall, they really do need a partner that could like ground them, get them back to reality, and help them avoid escapism because, you know, they escape. They like to escape from like the real world. I would say to attract a Pisces moon, you should be genuine, open-minded, and compassionate, and funny. They like to laugh. They're silly. Pisces moon people are pretty freaking silly. I do like people who would not be afraid to explore that spiritual side, um, whatever you believe in, they want to know more. Like they're okay with sharing their beliefs with you, seeing if you have the same beliefs, stuff like that. Someone that could explore like the deep mysteries in life, 
Yeah, but they are super romantic partners and idealistic. They enjoy the pleasures of like fantasy and romance. Um, a moon in Pisces would go well with, I I would say a moon in Virgo, um, moon in Cancer, moon in Scorpio, moon in Gemini, and maybe a moon in Libra. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.